welcome back to another video with Lady J and the little people. I missed you guys. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys' week is off to a great start. If it's not, you know you have the power to change it, right? Right. So, welcome, welcome, welcome to everyone. Thank you for coming back to yet view another video. What I have before you all is some um lobster ramen. So yeah, your lobster ramen. I have to be honest, I'm not in the best of moods. I'm kinda irritated. I've kinda been irritated for a while. You know, it's just starting to add up. You know, but nevertheless, I'm here, I'm striving, I'm thriving, I'm praying. So you know. Mm. Mm. So I have ramen, broccoli, red onion, sweet pepper, egg, lobster, of course. Mm. I also have some, um, what you call it, sauce packs, but I season my stuff so good, like, I really don't even think it needs it, but I'm just adding it for the spice. And I also have some, um, fried chili paste as well. Let me see that. y'all this like getting on my nerves but i got something on the way to be here the next couple of days that should solve my problem y'all but everybody that's been pushing through and rocking with me through these not so good videos i appreciate y'all i appreciate y'all for coming back to view you know even though we're not a hundred percent where we need to be but I'm glad we're not where we used to be. Because <laughs> y'all know this, so this video is a hot mess. I ain't even lie to y'all, you know. But I look at it as all growing pains, right? You got, I'd rather do it and make the mistake than never do it and never know, you know. Let me do it and fail. And learn, you know. Versus not doing it at all. You know. Mm. doing mug bangs y'all it's messy like I see why we're supposed to eat in the kitchen <laughs> doing mug bangs you've been in flung stuff everywhere mm. I'm gonna throw a little bit of this on here like so like that like so like that yeah y'all Mm-hmm. I don't know, I'm not from sure. Mm-hmm. Y'all, I want to talk on a topic, honestly, about single parenthood. You know, like, It's like, I, I personally have mixed feelings about it, since I am a single parent. Like, it's hard, like, especially when you go through them seasons when your children don't listen. No matter what you do, it just seems like they want to kick against everything that you say. And then when you have the lack of support, 
you know what I mean, from the other parent or even just family members, you know what I mean? Because parenting becomes a burden. Like, at times, I don't find parenting enjoyable. I find it being burdensome, you know? And it's okay to feel how you feel. You know what I'm saying? This is how I feel. You know what I'm saying? I'm not nonchalant to how I got here. You know what I mean? So I definitely take accountability on my side. But I have to just really cry out to God this morning because I'm just i overwhelmed, y'all. When I say I'm overwhelmed, I'm overwhelmed. I've been overwhelmed actually for a while now, you know. And it just seems like now I'm like at my wit's ends. Like my patience is like zero to none. You know, if I'm able to ever, like, be able to institute something into legislation, I would definitely do something about men walking away from their responsibilities as fathers, as well as mothers walking away from their children, leaving fathers to be the single parent as well. Because mothers aren't the only ones that's ending up being single parents. Men are out here being single parents as well. You know what I mean? And I feel like being a single parent, it makes you age faster. Like, I'm young, but I feel old. Like, I feel mentally drained because I'm doing everything by myself, literally. I have no family support, no nothing. So it's harder on me versus, say, somebody down the street you know so i said all that to say when you see a mother struggling going through it you know what i'm saying see how you can help her because this parents a game ain't no joke and these children are exposed to so much today and it's making our jobs even harder because as a parent we can teach our children values morals discipline all of that but when we send them out in the street in these schoolhouses mixed and mingled with all these other kids that's able to do what they want to do they bring their problems home, them issues home, and then it becomes problems in a single parent household. You know what I'm saying? And then we have systems like child protective services and things like that that always want to get in your business and tell you what you can and cannot do with your child. But I don't never see them knocking on nobody's door now, down the month, asking them, do they need anything? Are your bills paid? Do your kids need some socks, some drawers, some t shirts, some Levi's? some collets, some throwbacks, some something. You know what I mean? Like, I'm just so frustrated and irritated. And I, by no means, do I accept anyone abusing their children. By no means. Let me make that very clear. And it's children out in the world that are suffering and do get abused and their parents need to be handled. You know what I'm saying? But I just feel like children know too much in the world today. Society Beat certain things in children's head. If your parents do this, call what? I wish I would tell my mama business what goes on in her house. Staying in her house. If I got a whooping, I, I must have deserved it. You know? <clears throat> Excuse me now. <clears throat> now more than ever, I believe these children need to be like, Toast up, you know what I'm saying? But not only the children, the absentee parent, because a lot of children are being taken away because parents are overworked, stressed out, don't know what to do, no help. Like, it's hard. You know, and who is society to come and tell you what you can and cannot do when you already have so many things up against you? I'm just like, I'm in one of the moves today, y'all. I'm ready to like, put myself in a box and say ship to Canada. <laughs> With no return label, do you hear me? Like, I'm just, I'm stressed out, y'all. I'm stressed out, I'm overworked, I'm irritated, I'm frustrated, like, I'm everything. I'm everything a mother can be in this time. Like, it's so hard. And then men think it's okay. They could just get up and go, like, lay down your seed and run out. Like, what kind of man are you to run out on your children because you bitter or you mad or you 
didn't get your way or what? And then it's like if they leaving, if they're not leaving, rather they killing the woman. Like it's just so much going on to where kids are being left fatherless and motherless. You know what I'm saying? It takes two parents to raise a child. Two. Because there are things that fathers have to instill in children just like there are things that mothers have to instill in children as well. I'm just so sick and tired of it's everywhere. Let me let me make that very clear. It's everywhere, but I'm sick of the black community being full of single parents. Like, come on now, men, take your rightful place and stop leaving your responsibility in the hands of women and the government. Yeah, I said it, and the government. Because when you men aren't doing their part, women have to go to the government and ask for help. And that's so sad. It's so sad. Like a, a woman, period, women are not respected. Women go through so much in America today. So the least you could do is take accountability of the responsibility of the things that you've done and created. Right? Right. Mm. I'm just tired of it, y'all. It's an embarrassment. It's a burden. It's shame. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel so shameful that I'm a single parent. Like, it's it wasn't designed that way, you know? But when you move in your own will and not the divine will, unfortunately... Consequences come with it, right? I just want people to wake up and realize that it's very tacky. And at the end of the day, the only individuals that suffer are the children. The children that are going to be our tomorrow. Something to think about. I'm not going to even lie to you, y'all. I ain't even hungry. Like, it's a lot on my mind. I can't even eat because I... Y'all... I tried to come and do this video. I tried to be in positive spirits, y'all. But I can't fake it and shake it. So, I'm out, y'all. Okay? Bye.